Two and a half minutes left in this game. I thought I would go ahead and watch the end with you guys. Um, I don't know what's happened here. We started so well. The first 20 minutes or so were brilliant. Hang on. Lianko just put his hand around Nketiah's lower neck area. What? He's just been giving a yellow, given a yellow card for that. Hmm. Very, very suspicious refereeing. That's not really the word. Not suspicious, but just just really bad refereeing today for both teams. There's been bad calls for both teams. I would say Arsenal have felt the effect more from the poor refereeing. Um, but realistically, I think, you know, we're, we're going to draw this game. I don't think we're going to score in the next two minutes. And it's going to go down as us failing to capitalise on such a good start to the game. We should have been two or three nil up. Um, yeah, some of that's down to some poor decisions from the referee, but also just not being clinical enough. And I think a lot of tired legs as well. You can definitely tell this season that we're playing more games. It is as simple as that. But um, Southampton, I think they've been okay, you know. Uh, they just brought on a player, Edozi. This, I don't know how old he is. Absolutely unbelievable. He's 19. Wow. He has come on and looked really good. I'm surprised they haven't actually got him on earlier or even started him. Um Southampton are definitely a bogey side for us, aren't they? We lost here in April. Looks like we're going to be dropping points again here today. There's something about this, this stadium, this ground. We just can't seem to get a good result there. It is just a weird coincidence, maybe. Um, how do I think we've done? I don't think we've been absolutely awful today. We've just been so average in some areas of the pitch. This yellow card, by the way, what a joke. Saka never should have got that yellow card. And I think Saka's had um, a bit of a difficult, a difficult game because of it. I, I think you can almost tell that he was really angry at that. He, he got booked for diving, but it, it just, it wasn't a dive. Could have been a free kick in a very good area for us. I thought Ben White was absolutely fantastic. Not sure why he's come off and Tommy Asu stayed on. I would have just taken Tommy Asu off and put on um, uh, Tierney. On that left side. Granite Xhaka's goal. Wow. Unbelievable. He is just... He's in form this season, isn't he? That is two goals in a row. With his right foot as well. In two games in a row. And um, that's not like Granite Xhaka. I think he scored three goals in three seasons combined before this season. And he's already got four this season. But guys, that is the end of the game. Done. Oh, it's so frustrating. It really is. I'm not saying we we deserved to win this game, but some things just did not go our way. And I feel like the referee <laughs> had probably one of the worst performances I've seen. S some of the, the challenges that were going in and not getting punished, it was actually incredible. Genuinely incredible. Um, Martinelli had a few good runs. I thought... Could have potentially stayed on a little bit longer. I think, you know, we, we brought on Nketiah and he's done okay. But um, I honestly, I would have taken off Jesus. I think he had a, a relatively quiet game. Where, where is the Jesus from pre-season and the first few weeks of the season? He, he's just not, I don't know, he's obviously not scoring at the moment, which is a problem. It really is. We've brought him in to score goals. And let's be honest, today... He had a few chances where he should have at least hit the target. There was one bit where he was he was through on goal pretty much. And I don't know what happened. That The defenders just got the best of him there. A um, little bit wobbly from Saliba at times today. Oh, what's happened here? My page has just changed because it's full time now. Let me give it a refresh so we get the latest stats and stuff like that. Um, by the way, Tottenham Newcastle up next. That is going to be a really interesting matchup. Um, this was without uh, quite a few of their key players as well. Obviously, no Walker Peters. Carl Walker Peters at right back. Uh, no Bola Ketchup. <laughs> he was not in there. Um, I don't know, guys. This this is a really disappointing result. Of course, we're still top of the league. Um, but this would have been a great opportunity to just keep plowing on the pressure. You know, just just shutting up the haters a lot of, of people just say nah it's just it's just a fluke right now they, they won't continue doing this surely they won't continue it and this would have been a great way to uh to go away from home to a, a stadium a ground that we struggle in and pick up a win and it very almost was we we did very well in the opening 20 30 minutes but 
from then onwards, it seemed like we really just slowed slowed things down, which is really, really annoying. Um, so we're not going to have green for five games in a row. There will be a silly grey box, but that, I think, is our first draw in 27 matches, right? 27? We don't draw games. Like We just have not been drawing games. I mean, almost 50,000 votes here, as you can see. 18% of those votes went for a draw. <laughs> so uh, not many people were expecting it, that's for sure. Uh, I don't normally do this, but let's have a look at some of the other results here because I don't have a tweet to get your comments in for this episode because I've started the recording early. But Leicester have beaten Wolves 4-0. Fulham have beaten Leeds 3-2. But Villa, that is the story, isn't it? With Steven Gerrard leaving the club and they come straight back with a 4-0 win. Was he just holding them back? Was he too defensive mind defensively minded? I, I don't know. It's a bit of a weird one, that, isn't it? Let's go ahead and take a look at the league table. So that's 11 games played. We're still top of the league. Two points clear of Man City, but it should be more. It should be four. Ah, oh, it's so annoying. But do you know what? If you're going to drop points, just don't lose the game. And, you know, there was there was moments, I think, deep into the 80 to 90 minutes where I was really worried we might concede another one, you know, and, and fair play to Southampton. They they were not bad at all today. I thought they were relatively OK. They, they're, a, they're a decent side. They're coached well. Sometimes they implode a little bit. We, we've seen recent nine nils to Leicester and, you know, they, they do get beat quite often. Let's be honest. But there are some games where... Southampton are very resilient and it seems to be when we play them, which is very frustrating. Um, up next, of course, we've got the Europa League. Let me just go ahead and check the fixtures again. So we've got this game is obviously finished now. It just hasn't updated PSV on Thursday. Uh, obviously, we've, we've already qualified for the next stage of the Europa League. So not an important game. I would like to see, you know, a, a big rotation there because to go now at the Emirates up against Nottingham Forest after a huge win against Liverpool that they just had. Um, technically, both of us going in, having just beaten Liverpool. <laughs> um, that's going to be a really interesting game. I think, you know, we're at home and we should win that comfortably, but you just never know with Nottingham Forest. They could turn up. Uh, and then obviously another not so big game against Zurich, which, you know, again, just play the rotated team, the, the rotated squad. And then it's the huge trip to Chelsea. Is it though? I've actually got a feeling this isn't happening. Hang on. The World Cup scheduling, because I'm pretty sure this game is after the World Cup. I think it is. So I don't think this is actually up to date. Um, let me try and find Arsenal fixtures. I want to make sure I get this right. Oh, hang on. Oh, I see. It's the FA Cup game. This is the one I was thinking of here. OK, so we have let me just zoom in for you guys. It's quite small, isn't it? So we do have the Chelsea game. Why did I think that was moved? Obviously, the City game was postponed, but we have Chelsea at Stamford Bridge a week on Sunday. That is going to be a really big game, honestly, like a huge game. Uh, and then we go into our final two matches before the World Cup begins. But I was confused with these two fixtures here. So we're taking on Brighton at home. But that's in the EFL Cup. We've then got Wolves. They've just been smashed 3-0 um, by Leicester, who hadn't even won a point away from home. So that should be, hopefully, a winnable game. And then, of course, it's six slash seven weeks off until after Christmas, we come back and face West Ham, uh, Brighton away, Newcastle at home, Tottenham away, United at home, Everton away, Brentford at home. That should be OK. Villa away, who knows? Geez, some of these fixtures. I mean, it, it gets really tough. Liverpool away, West Ham at home, Southampton at home. Okay, we should be okay there, right? And then it's Man City, Chelsea, Newcastle, Brighton, Forest away. Oh my God! People saying that you know we could easily win the we could win the league. We could do one. Well, maybe they're not saying easily, but people saying you know maybe Arsenal's a tight Arsenal are title contenders. We're just not. Okay, I'm I'm telling you right now. I'm a very real Arsenal fan. Um, a lot of my friends are saying, oh, Matt, are you excited? You know, your, your team's doing well. No, I, I'm not getting ahead of myself. Yes, we're fantastic at the moment. And yes, right now we're one of the best sides in England. But 
it will it will be just a couple of bad results. And you know, confidence when it's high is very fragile. If if something bad, something something really bad goes wrong, imagine if we get absolutely thumped, you know, at one weekend, or just a couple of injuries, you know. So I'm just I'm not getting ahead of myself, even though I would love to believe it. But um, yeah, it's 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 going to be a really really difficult set of fixtures when the World Cup concludes. Uh, obviously, we're going to have a few players rested. They're not going to the World Cup. You know, players like Erdegaard, for example, are going to have six weeks of just just training, just training, keeping fit, seeing their family, resting. We should technically have an advantage because of that, because a lot of other clubs have a lot of international players going. And we're just in a weird phase of our rebuild where a lot of our best players are very young and they're not actually the elite players for, for their in, international teams. It, and obviously some teams just aren't going like Norway. So um, we're blessed with Brazilians, you know, having, they've got so many good Brazilian players and not all of them from Arsenal are going to play in the World Cup. So we'll see how we get on after the World Cup. But of course, we've still got a couple of weeks to go. A draw today is not the worst result ever, but it's disappointing. We definitely should have got the win today.